Namaste friends, welcome to this video. If you've landed here, it's probably because you're looking for a meditation to help with anxiety. This meditation will really start to help you return back to your sense of oneness with yourself, but also with the world. And what yoga is intrinsically about innately is helping us again and again to be able to return to that most sacred part of ourself that is beyond sorrow and is beyond all pain. So this meditation is with that in mind, is helping you to get in touch with your own light, but then using that light that you get in touch with to shine on all different parts of your life. I'm in the temple with Ganesh right now at Blue Osa Yoga Retreat and Spa. And I'm here to share with you the gifts of the Himalayan tradition. If you look on the walls around here, we have these different mantras, such a sacred place to come and be and just practice meditation. Find a comfortable seat, could be in a chair, could be sitting on a couple of cushions, could be on the ground. If you feel like you must, you can do lotus pose. The most two important qualities of any seat is to be comfortable, very, very important, but also to have a really erect spine. So you want to sit well. If you're not sitting well and you find it uncomfortable to sit, we have some really great meditations that we'll link to here to help you begin cultivating those um, uh, stronger back muscles that will start to hold you up in a more extended posture. So from here, just please close your eyes. If you're in your home right now, one of the things that I might want to invite you to do is to pause this video and find a candle and light the candle and put the candle in front of you and just to kind of ignite that light. So part of this meditation practice is using that flame of that light to bring it into our heart center. If you don't have a clear picture of a flame in your mind, lighting a flame or lighting a candle and doing trataka, staring at the flame, can really start to help you cultivate that bhavana of having that light shine really brightly within you. So again, pause the video and we're going to continue from here, uh, bringing our awareness to that light and to that flame. So sitting with a really tall and erect spine, with your eyes gently closed, if you do have a flame or a candle in front of you, you can continue to stare at it for a few more minutes. But if your eyes are closed, start to imagine that flame now shining at the third eye center, the space between the eyebrows and then just a little bit more above at a place that's often referred to as the Guru Chakra. Also known as Agnya Chakra. And at Agnya Chakra, we begin to imagine that flame there. And just in your mind, to hold this love in your heart for this flame. Because this flame represents all of the teachers in your life. The teachers that really helped to lift you up, that elevated you, that taught you valuable lessons, that guided you on your path. We also meditate on this flame because it embodies the teachers, the primordial teachers that help to guide us through life. Sometimes they're referred to as our guides or our angels. This flame also represents those people in your life that are current or past. It could be heroes that walked this earth and that in a very physical way embody this flame through their actions, words, and deeds. For me, Gandhi is one of them, Nelson Mandela.
I'd like you to just honor this light. But this light also represents the most highest part of yourself. That intuitive understanding represents the compassionate mother. It represents the protective father. It represents that creative spirit within you. And once you have a very clear vision or picture of this light, of this flame, I'd like you to bring this light down towards your heart center. Invite this light towards your heart center. And at the heart center, you see a cave or an opening to a cave. And the light goes in the cave and guides you in. And guides you into a chamber that's deep within the cave of your heart. And within this chamber, you look out towards the middle and you see a very beautiful pond. And on that pond, there is a white lotus flower just floating so beautifully. Within that white lotus flower, the very center sits another flame. I'd like to invite you to go and sit at the edge of that pond. Imagine that you're sitting in a lotus pose. Imagine that you're sitting with your best pose. As you look at the white lotus flower, you notice that it has eight petals. And on each of those petals sits another flame. And each of those flames represent a different part of our existence. So I'd like you to take your awareness to the flame or to the petal with the flame sitting on it that's closest to you. And we're going to start to just focus on each flame for a moment in our mind's eye. And invite that light to illuminate the part of our existence that it represents. So as you take your awareness to the flame that's closest to you, that flame represents the earth element. And just kind of for a moment, imagine that that light of that flame is kind of touching and healing and nourishing all aspects of the earth element within you. And then we're going to turn our awareness now to the second petal moving in a clockwise rotation with the flame sitting on it and focusing on that flame that represents now the water element. And feel as if that flame that represents the water element is nourishing and healing and touching all of the water element within you and outside of you. Feel that this light of this flame is nourishing all of the water element within you. And you feel all the water element within you and outside of you being touched by the light of this flame. And then we bring our awareness now to the third petal with the flame shining on it. And this flame represents the fire element. 
the fire, man, fire element within you and outside of you. And imagine that the light of this flame is now touching, healing, and nourishing all that fire element within you and outside of you. And now we turn our attention to the fourth petal with the flame shining on it. And this flame represents the air element, both within us and outside of us. We ask the light of this flame to hurt, heal, to nourish, and to touch with its loving grace all of the air element within you and outside of you. Feel the light of this flame blessing all of the air within you and outside of you. And now we bring our attention now to the fifth flame. And the fifth flame sitting on that petal, that fifth petal, represents the element of space or ether. Feel as if the light of this flame touches, heals, and nourishes with its loving grace. All of the space within you and outside of you. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply. Let's bring our awareness now to the sixth petal with the flame shining on it. And this flame represents our individual self, the part of yourself that has a sense of identity and ego, but also that part of yourself that feels separate from the whole. sometimes referred to as the Jiva Atman, the individual soul. And feel or invite that flame to touch, to heal and nourish that aspect of yourself that feels individual. May that wall of duality that separates me from my higher self, from the whole, dissolve. May the light of this flame heal and nourish me. And now we're going to move to the seventh petal with the flame shining on it, which represents the element of the moon within you, the aspect of the moon within you. 
that feminine force. May the light of this flame heal and nourish and touch the lunar aspects within me. And we bring our attention now to the final petal with the flame shining on it. And this flame represents the sun, the solar parts of ourself, the more masculine parts of ourselves. May the light of this flame touch, heal, and nourish the solar energy within me. Feel the light of this flame, healing and nourishing that solar part of yourself. Now start to feel or sense that all of the flames on these eight petals now merge with the one central flame. Meditate on that central flame for a moment. And we're going to just say a little prayer here. May that central flame heal, nourish, and touch the eight aspects of my life, the eight aspects of my existence, earth, water, fire, air, space, the individual self, the lunar and the solar aspects of my existence. May I now become one with this flame, with this light. And what you start to cultivate an awareness of in this meditation practice is that you actually start to become that living flame. I would like to invite you to sit here as long as you like, meditating on that flame, feeling as if you have become that flame, that light, You may also start to invoke your guru mantra here or move into just a gentle and easy meditation practice. And when you're ready, go back out into the world, feeling a sense of wholeness within yourself, feeling connected to the eight aspects of your existence, and that all eight aspects of your existence are now in line with the higher aspects of your being, creating space for you to go out back into the world to manifest and live your life's purpose. Be blessed on your journey. Namaste.